So yesterday we told you about the list of realtors that we're gonna start working with. Uh, if you're on that list, we'll be reaching out to you via text message in the next couple of days and training you on your listing booster account so you can generate the lead list that we've been talking about that so many people actually have. We will be placing you with fantastic loan officers who are doing the same type of thing. Right. We are in the business now officially of working with great loan officers and great realtors, Same. not at the expense of others, but to the exclusive nature of those people. To see if you're up to snuff, all you have to do is text BOOSTER to 33655. On with our show. Yeah. Now there's two breaking you... stories that took place yesterday, Frank. I'm, two breaking I'm stories. Riveted. First of all, the FOMC came out with a long-winded way of saying everything's okay. Oh. Now you don't need to read it. Okay. It's okay. not great. It's not horrible. But it's okay. It's okay. And, you know, as a result of this, they're going to raise the Fed fund target rate by a quarter. Okay. Now I hope this helps. Hope you all make the appropriate adjustments to your talking points and daily activities as a marketing realtor and lender to reflect this groundbreaking revelation. Because I'm seeing it posted everywhere, so clearly there's something going on that I don't understand. It's talked about, it's breaking news, right? Everyone's posting about it, so clearly there is a reason for this. The reason I see this on the Facebook walls and the Twitter accounts of loan officers is... Frank, I really don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know, in, in other breaking news, uh, there's a story within the mortgage industry and came out yesterday and you're gonna love this one. The CFPB now will not, I repeat, will not be renamed the BCFP. Okay. Breaking news. Gotcha. Yeah, Worthy yeah, of posting. Yeah. That's not going to happen. No. So Thank as God. you know, Thank this God. was a hotly debated topic in the halls of Congress. Frankly, it really wasn't. Mm -hmm. Mulvaney wanted to pee on his agency because it still smelled like corduroy, so he renamed it. Yeah. Now, we, we saw reports that the name change was going to cost lenders about $300 million in programming. That's nice. So I hope you lenders didn't spend that money because now under the new, new director, Kathy Craninger, I think I got that right. Craninger, Craninger, who cares? The name's gonna remain the same. It's gonna stick with the CFPB. It's not gonna shift over to the BCFP, which in my opinion is BFD. Right. Okay, right, you know, so just thinking out loud, if lenders truly spent $300 million in programming to change the CFPB to the C, I mean, the, to the BCFP. Get your piece and C's together. Now they've got to change it back to the CFPB from the BCFP, which theoretically will cost another $300 million. That means this giant pissing contest of three directors, two names, not to be mistaken with two girls and one cup. I can't do that. I won't do it. Okay. That's just too disgusting. Okay. That That's what makes it so that funny. Is so freaking funny. That's what makes it so funny. You don't have we don't have to just 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 gloss over it, dude. Just gloss over okay, it. Okay, all right. Everyone all right. knows I'll do what it. it is. I'll do it. That means that this giant pissing contest of three directors, two names, not to be mistaken with two girls, one cup, but along the same lines could have been a $600 million bureaucratic imposed and enforced six month tail chasing event that effectively accomplished nothing whatsoever. Oopsie doopsie. Oopsie doopsie. Yet these are the two breaking stories at, from yesterday. You need to understand this. Mm -hmm. I think they're kind of distractions, Frank, but these are the breaking stories that people are posting about because it's breaking news. Frank, continue with this. Okay, well, here's a graph of existing home sales. Yes. As you can see, they clearly go up and down. My God, and thank you. And upon further analysis, sometimes they go up more and sometimes they go down more. You know, Frank, what I like best about this graph here, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. is their use of color. Ah. Interesting. The green contrasts really well against the navy blue, and what mm, I like to refer to as mm. ox blood red. <sighs> now the reason is, the green is kind of more of a lime color. I like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, these three colors represent single family residents, condos, and clearly something else. Okay, yes. I think that one might be less important. All right. Now, I'm, actually, I'm sure of that. Okay. Not sure what or why, but damn. 
this looks very important. It does. Now, here's the takeaway for you, real estate agents and lenders from this graph. Mm -hmm. Spend your time posting this graph. Yes. Yes. Right, one, love the use of the color. Yes. That's already been established. Right. Okay. Now two, it makes you look important and seem really smart. Very important for your business. Okay, now, and three, if there's one thing your neighbor or your best friend or your kid's Little League coach desperately wants to see, it's this graph. Yes. Okay, now, when you post this, I'm just gonna tell you, it's lights out, man. Yep, it is. They'll have a hard time seeing you through the radiance of intellect and knowledge through this clearly. Very, very important information. Very, very important. Further, this graph, and I understand its meaning, is somehow going to endear you to someone looking to, you know, buy a home or get a loan. Yes. I'm telling you, this is what they've been looking for and waiting for. Mm -hmm. Because if there's one thing I've learned, mm -hmm. people who have not made up their mind mm -hmm. on who they're going to work with, mm -hmm. Always work with people who post stuff yes. about, you know, things like this. Got it. The name of the CFPB, the BCFP, and the FOMC, and colorful graphs. Yes. yes. I know that's what my kid's little league coach has been waiting for, and this is going to be the thing that is going to impact or affect my business. Now, this is what I'm seeing out there right now, so clearly it's great. But I have another thought, Frank. What's that? Just an idea. Uh-huh. What about engaging people about stuff that they actually want to talk about? How about that? I don't see that on Facebook anywhere. That can't be relevant. Now, don't you think that if you can find common ground with somebody that that's going to start to break the barriers down and allow you to really tell them what you think is going to I, 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 truly help them when it comes to their home buying and selling needs? As long as you can use really great colors on a graph, I think so. But. Now, don't you think you should be posting things that are valuable to the consumer that you're trying to work with, entertaining or enriching to that person? Well, I mean, if it can contain some really negative news about the real estate industry, maybe. Now, don't you think that maybe um, once we break down these barriers, um, then we can uh, start to really establish why somebody should buy a house in this changing market? Okay, I've just ha I've had about enough okay. of this nonsense. Okay. Okay. You are not making any sense to me whatsoever. Okay. Okay. I want a freaking graph. All right. Yes. With my freaking colors and my statistics. And I like CFPB, B, C, O, P, D, B, F, D stuff too. Makes me important. Smart, I'm done with you. Well, here's what you guys have a choice of. When you're thinking about how you're going to engage your potential clients and how you're gonna turn a prospect into an actual client of yours, we could post about things that are universally interesting to us which when we do so, we will default to doing more frequently because we enjoy that outside of work. Or we can talk about colorful graphs and acronyms. I see a lot of acronyms, so make your choice. With that said, do me a favor. If this makes sense to you, congratulations, it doesn't to me. Uh, forward this on to people, and of course, if you're seeing us for the first time, our next show might make a little bit more sense when me and Frank are not spitting out of control. Thanks for your time.